Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today I have the FX Impact M3 uh, out at the range. And um, you might notice something. <laughs> so I actually have a 177 barrel kit in here. It's a 500 millimeter. Uh, I was gonna put the stock rail back on, but uh, actually <laughs> with the moderator, um, this kind of just looked kind of neat to me. So I was like, you know what? Let it roll, man. It is what it is. Let's have some fun. So, um, but, uh, I did, uh, go ahead and, um, shoot a few different things out of this gun today. Uh, we tried the exact monster Diabolos on uh, 13.43. Not so great. I mean, for the speeds I was looking for, I was kind of looking in that upper nines. Um, howlers started out kind of promising, but quickly were overtaken by the JSB knockouts. Um, these are 10.03 grain slugs, and um, honestly, they did really pretty freaking decent. So, um, you know, this is a squirrel gun. So uh, let me uh, let me get back over here on my. I'm like closer target here, get this all sighted in and or not sighted in, but we'll get it uh, set up and uh, let's go ahead and shoot a few shots. Um, it, the the 177's a real neat freaking caliber in my opinion. Um, I've got the knockouts flying at about 985 feet per second. That's producing roughly 28 foot pounds of energy perfect amount and honestly um i've shot let's see this is the this is the fourth magazine and from a 250 bar fill i'm at 170 bar it's a lot of magazines 32 shots i think is what it is that's a lot so let's see if we can't uh see if we can't put together a a somewhat decent little group here. Let me uh, start the recording on the uh, ATN. Hopefully it's recording. I don't see it coming in. Come on. Okay, why aren't you recording? Oh, the SD card's out. <clears throat> That's my fault. Do some shooting. We'll walk down and take a look. We'll old school it. Three. five sweet let's go ahead and make our gun safe so we can walk down range and uh let's go take a look so these things are doing great like i said you know i'm having similar results at 50 yards you know i can't complain um it's just the idea that uh like i said shooting the 177 uh it's just a lot of fun to be honest with you it really is. So I kind of played around with a lot of different uh, 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 rounds. So, excuse me, we'll talk about those when we get down here. So, let's see if I can get this onto the target. And I can. Okay. So, this here was the Howlers. This here was the knockouts. Now, while the groups look really similar, um, the knockouts um, stuck together better at the 50. We'll walk down and I'll show you that. Um, this was the, or actually, this was um, the uh, howlers as well. Um, and then I had a few kind of popping around. This was the, um, the pellets. 
so they didn't hold together as well but let's walk down and take a look at the 50 yard which uh, I thought did really well as well and uh, like I said so it's a lot of fun working with lower pressures <laughs> and uh, just being able to uh, keep that up so let's go ahead and get this back onto the target so um, this was this was howlers here this was howlers there this was knockouts and then I shot a second group of knockouts um, not totally 100% you know like trying to you know get them right in the hole I wanted to keep my point of aim um, but uh, nonetheless for you know for 50 yards at a squirrel I mean you figure a squirrel head you know I mean that's that's still a headshot right so you know I think that uh, I think that that is definitely uh, a great group um, for uh, for 177 I mean honestly I mean for a 500 millimeter 177 slinging a knockout slug at you know 985 roughly um, 28 foot pounds now I'll take this this all day long all day long so but anyway with that being said I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, we are definitely going to get that gun out to the um, the woods hopefully this weekend and uh, we'll try to bring you guys some hunting footage with squirrels uh, really, really soon. So till next time, I'm Moose. And uh, if you guys would, do me a favor. Um, go out and uh, subscribe to our secondary YouTube channel. We have a new YouTube channel that we just started. It's Outdoors with Buck and Moose. Um, there's a short video that I did as well that you can take a look at if you can't find it. There's a link uh, to the... Uh, to the uh, page itself and I'll also put one in the description down below uh, so that you guys can just click on it but uh, it's gonna be the channel that Buck and I put all of our hunting videos even though a lot of them will be here on Air Guns of Michigan um, a lot of them are gonna be over there as well um, so you know hopefully you guys will tune in for that so till next time I'm Moose this is Air Guns of Michigan be good to each other and God bless <laughs>